Ron Moore was a member of the Kappa Alpha Literary Society during his time at Cornell University. He dropped out of college during his senior year, after which he moved to Los Angeles, California, with a friend in hopes of becoming a working writer. He was two weeks away from joining the United States Navy when Michael Piller, the co-executive producer of Star Trek, The Next Generation, 1987, called with good news. His first script, The Bonding, led to an assignment and a spot on the writing staff in 1989. By the end of the series, he was serving as a producer. The end of TNG saw numerous accolades come Mr. Moore's way. As a member of the production team, he earned an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Drama Series and, along with writing partner Brannon Braga, a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation for All Good Things, the series finale. They would go on to earn Hugo nominations for the first two TNG films, Star Trek, Generations, 1994, and First Contact, 1996. They also collaborated on the story for Mission, Impossible 2, 2000. The end of TNG saw Mr. Moore assume the role of supervising producer on Rick Berman and Michael Piller's character-driven, Trek, spin-off, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, 1993. He began by writing the third season premiere, The Search, Part 1, which saw the introduction of the USS, Defiant. He had originally intended to name Captain Sisko's starship, Valiant, after the ship mentioned in the second Star Trek, 1966, pilot episode, which was titled, Where No Man Has Gone Before, but because Star Trek, Voyager, 1995, was about to premiere, he changed it to, Defiant, in honor of the ship from, the Tholian Web. As two of the most ardent Star Trek fans on DS9's writing staff, Mr. Moore and, Rene Echevarria, were chosen to write the teleplay for, Trials and Tribulations, DS9's tribute to TOS's 30th anniversary. Besides bringing Captain Kirk and Captain Sisko together on screen via some seamless Emmy-nominated visual effects, the episode also brought the pair a Hugo nomination. They would go on to write the series' penultimate episode, The Dogs of War, which introduced the new, Defiant, formerly the USS, Sao Paulo. The name of the ship and Sisko's line, Hello, Ship, were a tribute to the Steve McQueen film The Sand Pebbles, 1966. By the time DS9 ended, he was a co-executive producer and ready to move on to his third, Star Trek, series. After a two-episode stint as a co-executive producer on, Voyager, Mr. Moore said goodbye to the franchise. His first job after, Star Trek, was as a consulting producer on the final season of the Sci-Fi Channel's fantasy series Good vs. Evil, 1999. Eventually, he made his way to Jason Cottoms's teen SF drama series Roswell, 1999. He joined TNG's Jonathan Frakes as a co-executive producer as well. Thanks to his work on, Roswell, he was able to develop Anne McCaffrey's, Dragon Riders of Pern, as a pilot for the WB, but it was cancelled before production began. Mr. Moore also served as a co-executive producer on, Roswell, when the series changed networks during the 2001-2002 television season. More recently, he was involved in the remake of Underscore, Battlestar Galactica, 2003, Mini, Underscore for the Sci-Fi Channel. Writing the script for the miniseries and serving as executive producer on the subsequent series.